Hey there, and welcome to Frostpunk. Uh, this is going to be the first episode in a playthrough through we do of this, and this game just came out today on the 24th. I've been very much anticipating its release on Steam for quite a long time, and uh, it looks it looks super awesome. So I've done a little bit of research on it, so I'm not going in totally blind, but this is my first playthrough, and uh, we're going to kind of go through it together here. So uh, there's uh, just one uh, starting scenario here, so we'll go ahead and select this. This, of course, all kind of settings. Uh, so the other scenarios unlock after you reach a certain point here, so those will unlock later. Uh, so we're loading. Uh, just some tips here. Scouts returning to the city move faster. They're traveling along a known route and promise of a warm bed. Uh, the monumental effort of designing, transporting, and constructing the generators in the north brought the British Empire to the brink of economic collapse in the real cold game. Yikes. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. That thing's really cool. I want it one of those. As yesterday, we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Wow, so basically like a modern ice age is, is what's happening here. We bid farewell to plenty. For those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Damn, that was really cool. Normally I don't watch like intros like that, but damn, that was that was pretty awesome. So, uh, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On our way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it was frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world, as we know it, is crumbled. So, we are in a frozen world, hence the name Frostpunk. And uh, we're in this bit of a crater here with this kind of abandoned, um, unoperational, inoperational generator. Uh, so, our first goal here is we need to get the generator working. And it provides heat and power to other buildings. Uh, without it, we'll freeze. And we need to stockpile some coal to start the generator. Uh, so, up here we have our basic, uh, you know, kind of... Indicators, resource monitors, we have coal, wood, steel, and some steam cores. And then we have food, uh, raw food and food rations. And the food will be turned into food rations. Over here we have our calendar or, you know, progression. So day, we're on day one. And then in here we have these events. So after day four, the temperature will drop significantly two levels. And uh, then we have our speed controls. And this is our current temperature. It's uh, currently negative four Fahrenheit. So it's 20 below zero, or five, sorry, four below zero. And if we actually click this, we can see a heat overlay, which is really cool. So we have these different levels. Um, you know, yellow or orange here is livable. Uh, red is comfortable. Chili is pretty much this color everywhere else. 
cold, very cold, and freezing. Uh, anything cold, very cold, or freezing is really not good uh, at all. So definitely need to get generator up and running. Um, so we have our objective here. Here's our people. We have 50 workers here, 15 engineers, and some children, which later on we can make work if we want to. Uh, and then construction uh, laws, which I'm gathering are very important based on what I've seen, and economy. So there's this stuff we can gather here. There's coal, which is what we want to start with. Um, there's some like frozen trees, which we need a sawmill for. There's some broken things like steel wreckage. There's also, you know, wood crates and such. So let's go ahead. Um, we can just max out our guys here on some wood. This coal looks pretty close. Let's max out guys on the coal. Um, we have 35 left. I think one group doing coal is probably fine. Um, I'm going to get engineers doing that. And then uh, this other... Here's some wood. I don't know which one's going to be closer. We could grab this though we're, we're gonna need quite a bit of wood so there's that and then i guess we could just get some more even more guys on wood if we want it so you can see their efficiency we're gathering two an hour here and there's 120 total uh so let's we, we have our, our little people in here and we currently have stockpiles so this shows all of our stuff um so we'll just go ahead and start now we obviously need somewhere for these people to live uh, we do have 32 wood initially, so we could go ahead and build some tents here. And this is the first thing we can build for housing. Um, so this, these like green lines are streets, and they, uh, you, you have to build off the streets. You can't um, build here, you can see, but you can build like off these streets. But I'm just going to start and build a couple house or a little group of tents here. So here go our people. Um, this is about as far as we can zoom in. Man, they just have to like plow through the snow. Uh, so there's a little cauldron of fire here. Um, so there's an event. If we click this, uh, we need workers needed. So we can open our book of laws um, and enable child labor. Or we could do child shelters. This is kind of the uh, nice, more humane way to go. Um, <laughs> you know, you build a child shelter, it, it increases hope. Uh, like morale, um, providing all children with a place in child shelter gives a permanent hope bonus. And then the negative, the red, is obviously we'll have to build a child shelter. But I want more workers, and usually in games I'm a pretty evil player. Um, <laughs> so we're going to uh, enable child labor uh, for the heck of it. Kids should be learning, not working. Yeah, well, if you worked more efficiently, perhaps... Um, Perhaps I wouldn't have to put in the work, huh? Uh, okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and get... I feel like maybe we do want a little more coal. So, I'm going to have some of our children work here. I'm going to do like... Five children there. And then uh, maybe some more children here, too. Okay, so we're getting some more wood. Let's go ahead and start constructing a few more houses. Um, now, this may seem like a fairly open um, play, and it is somewhat, but my understanding is that this does actually like end at some point. This is more of a kind of story-based thing um, driven than just a totally open city builder. I mean, it is open to a degree, like I said, but uh, I think it does come to an end at some point. So we can see here they're, they're gathering stuff, carrying it all in their packs, bringing stuff in this, like all the scaffolding construction is super cool. Uh, so once we get some coal, we do have quite a bit of coal um, construction, so we can open this up. Uh, th this will give you your controls and such. Uh, pretty straightforward controls. Uh, but we, we can go in here and we now want to probably kick this on. Um, inoperative. Why is this inoperative again? Oh, there we go. I hit the wrong button. So we need to go to steam level one. There we go. So the generator um, hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. The generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food. There'll be no city if we start a desk to secure a way to provide raw food and build a 
cookhouse to prepare meals. Uh, okay, so you can see our discontent is pretty high. Uh oh. Temperature. Coal pile, most buildings require you to assign people to work them. Certain buildings only employ engineers and others employ workers. Okay, uh, resource management is crucial. You need coal power to generate. Hmm. Research, steam cores are a key part of the advanced buildings, raw food. Okay, so we need some more. Um, there's still a ton of homeless here, so. Let's go ahead and get some more houses. Now, I've assigned so many people to work that I think part of the problem, uh, if I can find where I assigned all these children to. Uh, can children build, I wonder? That's what I'm curious about. Um, but we need people starting to build these houses because, uh, you know, that's there's 80 homeless, which is part of the discomfort is there's not enough shelter here. So our massive generator is cranking along here. Uh, burning through the coal, but they are building these little tent areas and once we do get that up um, It looks like each one is ten people, so we will want quite a few more of these Go ahead and do that now we do need something for food um, now. I'm not actually sure the best way to get some food here uh, If we look in our buildings so food there's a cookhouse a hunter's tent hunters based here hunt every night venturing beyond the city to track prey in the frozen wasteland they provide up to 15 raw food per day um so it needs to be adjacent to a street so if we go here we can build out some roads um so let's go ahead and build out some roads there it does take some uh some wood to do that and uh, we'll also build out some roads like here I'm not sure what, what is, what was that? I don't know what, so this is a coal deposit, so we'll need a mine. Uh, okay, but let's go ahead and get some hunters stuff going here. Street is under construction. Okay, so that's good. We could actually put it just like right up against this. Is that, this is gonna be a very compact city. Um, no discontent because everyone does have a place to live now. Um, what I find interesting is that at night the temperature doesn't go down. You would think that at night the temperature would go down, um, but perhaps not. And we, if we look here, uh, we can see now that this whole area is livable and the actual houses then um, are uh, comfortable. We can introduce a new law. Also, there are two sick, uh, so that's not good. Illness and health care. Speed up time by clicking the game buttons. Um, that was not actually what I wanted. Um, here. Cold homes or workplaces cause people to get sick without proper care. They can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in medical posts, but the gravely ill need an infirmary. Um, until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. The radical treatment law allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left amputees. Or the Sustain life law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical post or care house indefinitely. Okay, so I need that. I need a medical post, essentially. Otherwise, these these people are gonna die. Well, they're only they're not even gravely ill yet, but <laughs> knowing my luck, they will be soon. Um, so it's not adjacent to a road. Uh, this one is. I'm going to stick it there because I want room for a few more houses there. Uh, I would imagine at some point we can increase our population. So we do still obviously want some food. So we want a hunter's whatchamabob. Um, and let's throw that down. There's not actually room there. Let's throw that down here. And then we're also going to want a cookhouse, which is a bit big for that. Um, can I like... Can I just like draw roads around here? Did that actually do anything? Uh, I think, maybe. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell, uh, but this generator is so cool, man. We got like these little lamps. Uh, let's see here. 
uh, you can rotate with Q and E. So no one's, no one's working uh, because it's obviously nighttime, so they're sleeping. Uh, but we will work on this as the day comes. It looks like it's currently four, four in the morning. So we'll speed this up a little bit. No one can do much of anything. Um, it looks like, so this is obviously still burning coal. We're not collecting coal. So that's why we do want to make sure that we stay on our coal production here. Because uh, if this goes, then well, then we're in trouble. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Well, that's good to hear, bud. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. All right, so they're going to start working on this stuff. Um, they're building out these roads, which is pretty nice. These look more like very unstable walkways. Uh, but this is super cool. Like, you can see, like, these heat pipes in here. Uh, so that makes sense, you know, how the heat's transferred. Is it, is it, does, it does go through there, so... Let's go ahead and uh, build a cookhouse. Yeah, it won't work there. Um, we'll just do it there. A hunter's hut. Um, comfortable, sweet, prevents getting ill. Just do building insulation. So we definitely still need people like getting this coal because we are using it. Um, here fairly extensively. Oh yeah, but we do need to actually assign people to work here. So this looks like this needs workers. Um, if we take what people from our convoy, basic resources secure for now. We can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. We'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay, so. One thing that I wanted to do uh, is we have a new law we can do. So that's signed. Uh, we could do child labor all jobs. Um, emergency shift. A new ability, you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. We don't really want that right now. Fighting arena. Fighting arena. Uh, after interesting this law, another one can be passed. Evening bouts will reduce discontent. You'll have to build a fight arena. Okay. Food additives. New recipe sawdust meal available in cookhouse. Hope will fall slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. Some people eating sawdust meals will fall ill. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Um, <laughs> soup. Really? Oh, instead of full meals. Okay, I was going to say, like, I mean, soup. I would think would be pretty good, you know, if it's like really cold out, but radical treatment, sustain life, um, cemetery, uh, new building, cemetery, hope will rise slightly, no risk of disease from unburied bodies, each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours, you will have to establish cemetery, or corpse disposal, a snow pit, no disease, we'll have to dig a snow pit, hope will fall, discontent will rise, um, I mean, I don't know that we need that yet. We could do this. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, this one may be good. I don't think anyone's gonna die yet. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Um. If we, okay, so if we take, like, five workers off this and then put some kids doing that, and then we assign some people to this, we currently only have five available, which is a bit unfortunate, um, but that hopefully should at least help a bit. Now, did I have people over here? I did. We had children. We'll abide by the rules. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, so let's bump this up. Um, there's, so six food a day, um, and then we could assign, like, a couple people here, too. Like that. So 16 food rations an hour. Build a fighting arena, build a workshop, build a beacon, rescue survivors. Okay, so let's see what we can do here in terms of tech. We do need a workshop. 15 wood and 5 steel, which we certainly do have. 
Um, and this will actually fit quite nicely right in there. And then this was the medical post, which we actually also need workers in. Um, this is actually engineers, so if we take some engineers from there and throw them here. Hopefully that will help the couple of people we have uh, being sick here. And we are actually gathering food here at a pretty, or not food, wood at a pretty decent pace. Uh, we've turned this food, uh, raw food about four hours, food rations. Um, I mean, you would think these hunters would be like going and doing something. Is the wreckage completely? depleted. Yikes. Is there uh, another one somewhere, maybe? Uh, that's coal. There's another steel wreckage way over here. Um, we could assign engineers to that. Yeah, so let's get you doing that. Uh, child injured at work. A child got distracted at work and has been injured. The accident was not serious and happened entirely due to child's care and carelessness. Give this kid a day off. Scold this kid for being careless. <laughs> well, I mean... Hope will fall slightly. 24 hours hope will rise slightly. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. I mean, we're not that desperate for stuff. And I mean, hope probably is good. I did kind of want to be mean, but um, I would prefer us to not fail at the same time. Uh, so then this guy also requires engineers. So I feel like we, uh, we need some more engineers is, is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's go ahead and... Really? Thanks, game, but I actually wanted this. Um, so there's all this stuff we can research. Um, a steam hub, which allows us to build steam hubs. When powered by the generator, these contraptions create an additional smaller heat zone around them. Each active steam hub consumes three coal per hour. Uh, okay. So it requires 10 wood to research, it looks like. Heaters, exploration industry, so a beacon. Uh, allows us to build beacons, uh, or a beacon. Allows us to send scouts to research the wilderness for goods and survivors and bring them to our city. Lookouts will also spot incoming groups of people. So I think we're going to start that research. Uh, it's already 93% complete. Seems, uh, seems pretty darn quick. Oh no, that's efficiency. 93% efficiency. Absent one in treatment. Oh, uh, it's probably one of, the, one of the sick people. Okay, so here's our research ticking along down there. Um, things are going pretty well. You can see here, Book of Laws. Here's our cooldown. Um, I, will, I mean, these... Okay, so these these people look like they came in from there. Uh, home, workplace, uh, hunter's tent. Sweet. Uh, okay, so... Sir, one came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group. She's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. Um, sure. I don't know who it was, but... Uh, so these guys are... Heading out here. Try to find some stuff to hunt, it looks like. All kind of going out in a group into this frozen forest wasteland. This is a very desolate, somewhat depressing place out here. Um... They're just like, did they just like get lost, dude? Did they just like, did they just burrow under the snow? Maybe because I don't have vision. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. Um, okay, so this thing is currently researching. Um, this guy is still doing fine. Later on, I think we can research some higher levels of that. Uh, we are still collecting wood. There's not much wood actually left in here though um it is night time so maybe they just like i hope they weren't out there during the night that would be very unfortunate <laughs> so we need to build a beacon um and this isn't being researched i guess because no one's actually working can you do like i'm wondering if you can do shifts i don't think so though hmm all right well Let's see, research. So we kind of already learned about the research. Um, radio grid, building inside the heat zone or warmer. Um, valve placement, invalid placement, conditional placement. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I like how it, it kind of just plowed the wood out here for this little road to build on. Uh, I mean, we, we, got, we had over 200 coal, so 
we went through like 30 coal overnight or something we'll definitely want to get some mines going or something okay so people are starting to work this should crank the research back up again uh, hopefully our hunters will go out and get some stuff done here um, we have another thing a mother has refused to let her daughter go to work afraid she'll get injured we could look the other way this time but others might see it as unfair this child won't work for 20 hours. Oh, nothing will change we won't make an exception yeah sorry lady we need the workers I mean if if the child was injured or was sick I would have let him pass but like come on guys if, if we're gonna survive out here Wood crates depleted, wood crates depleted. Uh, okay, that's not good. Um, <laughs> we need... We need some more stuff. Let's, uh, let's max that one out. That one's got a tiny bit. We actually have almost nothing left. That's coal. Steel wreckage. Um, we could assign some children here. I can't imagine that they could get that injured at a cookhouse. Like, you wouldn't think. Um, so after this research, I think we will want some way to actually get um, so there's a gathering post. People working here gather research from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. So I guess it's just like better to build it there like here than going all the way back or something um a resource depot extends our storage capacity for our chosen resource coal with i mean actually i didn't even know we had a storage capacity here i mean we can hold quite a bit the wood's kind of filling up all right so beacon is researched allows us to build a beacon let's go ahead and see um we need some sort of so there's a coal thumper, which uh, allows us to build coal thumpers by pumping pressured water in underground coal deposits. The coal thumper washes the pressure of the resource of the service, forming a pile of up to 500 coal per standard workday. That's really good. Um, a sawmill, faster gathering, um, employ, employing better tools and methods, people gathering resources from coal piles, wood, crates, and steel, or finishing disaster. Okay, well, we don't really need it faster. We do just want, like, more stuff though um i think we definitely want to get i mean we have quite a bit of coal i think we actually may want a sawmill first so we're gonna do that um we can't quite pass a new law yet we are out of food um but we do have food rations i mean i would hope these guys are like doing something man i mean i don't actually know where they are um what what's hundreds will set out to bring in raw food I don't know why this has like an explanation uh, exclamation mark close at this time of day what the hell time of day do you hunt then dudes like for real come on <laughs> what, what what are you doing um i mean i guess it is well it's not that late coal pile depleted yikes okay well let's uh let's max that out all workplace is full Because uh, coming here soon, we are going to have a bit of a temperature drop, which is going to be unfortunate. So I think we want to, uh, yeah, so weather changes. Uh, right, so this could uh, this could be bad uh, if, if we're not careful here. Close at this time of day. Okay, okay, well, the good news is no one's sick. I really like like the little, the little walking path they plow here. It's super cool. Uh, but we can actually build a beacon if we want. Um, tech. So we can build a beacon. Let's actually pause. Uh, is this something... So we need to build this adjacent to a street. Let's build this, like... There. That'll be pretty cool. So, because we, we, we uh, could get more people in. And uh, obviously just progress and such. And we will also want to build a fighting arena. Uh, which... Tier. 20 wood, 10 steel. We're no longer lost and blind. From now on, people will be able to uh, survey 
ice barrens that surround us, the Frostland. Fantastic. A little cinematic here. It's cool. It's like a little hot air balloon. Oh, okay. No, it's just like, okay, I see what that does. That's super cool. So there's like Lost Expedition. Send scouts here to learn more. Uh, how did I, um, how do you, okay, so that's Matthew, okay, sweet, um, so we would need to send out scouts, I'm not quite sure how to do that, rescue survivors of our lost expedition, I mean, uh, scouts, okay, so we need citizens for that, um, Okay, right, well, let's build a fighting arena first. Uh, let's build this guy, like, over here. Oh, so it has a radius. That's interesting. So we'll do that, and then, um... I guess... I mean, we're still decent on steel. Let's go ahead and take some people off that and uh, send out. Uh, people cheer. It's a giant observation balloon source above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up eager to go. Uh, okay, so. Sweet. Um, I'm going to send them out. Observatory. Uh, well, this is where we. This is what we need to do for that. The building must be. Let's go here. Sweet. So 10 hours, it looks like, is their time. Um, this temperature will drop fairly significantly here uh, within the next day. Uh, but I think for now, I'm going to end it here, guys. And uh, this, this is really fun. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm definitely going to be doing more episodes of this. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, leave any thoughts and questions and comments down below, as always. Uh, there will be a link in the description to the Steam page where you can buy this and check it out if you'd like. But uh, but yeah, definitely definitely making some progress. I'm having a lot of fun. This seems to be really, really cool. I've really been looking forward to playing this. So anyway, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.